if you could point to some facts that would show that this is X, Y, Z, why he wasn't actually a murderer, then no, that wouldn't be emotional baggage. But from what I've, from what I can gather, have, yeah. hang on, from what I can gather in this, in this case that actually went down after it was litigated, the people that still thought he was a murderer didn't have any facts. All they had was their emotional baggage. No, you absolutely have facts. That he showed up at a protest with an assault rifle. Now you see now. You know, fucked up, you know that, don't you? Where there was violent activity happening. It wasn't an assault that. rifle. You're already wrong on the facts. Just you had so an AR-15. What the fuck are you that's talking about? That's not an assault about? rifle. That, what is, that's what not is an assault, assault rifle? rifle? Well, tell me what an assault rifle is. An assault rifle, for one, has to be fully automatic. That's like the main... The main part of an assault rifle is that it's fully automatic. Just I don't so you know. even know no, that's that's not not You're telling it me is that true. US military carrying M4 carbines with select fire aren't considered assault rifles? Like, those, those are assault rifles. Feet. That is an assault rifle. That's that's just because it's fully automatic? It's yeah. Yeah. Sorry. There wasn't a part of the There was one, which is you win. I got another follow-up question for Drone Tech. So Drone Tech, earlier we were talking about this uh, hearing where the Democrats were going really hard after your boy, Matt Tabi uh, Tahibi, or, uh, forget it, announced, announced his name or whatever, but they were going after him and you were really concerned that they were gonna go after his First Amendment rights or that the way they were directing it, it, it makes you worried about the First Amendment. Do you think the framing of the statement, the, the media is the enemy of the people, would make it harder or easier for the government to go after the media, pass more regulations on how they can talk, how they can talk about the news and what they can present and what they can't present? Because that's how a lot of nations like Russia or for recently the protests that have been going on in Georgia due to the uh, foreign agents bill. That's a lot of the stuff that that, uh, you know, precedes a lot of the most authoritarian legislation around media and NGOs. Yeah, I mean, I would say that. Yeah, I mean, if the media were acting as like a check on power and the government did that, that would be bad. But the media is not they're like hiding they're accountability not? from the government no i mean like there there's just this long list of things many of them i can't talk about here but there's more like many many examples uh, we'll we'll just talk about can we talk about hunter biden i don't know like the, the yeah. whole hunter biden laptop story the intelligence uh former intelligence that came out and said along with the fbi kind of tipping off uh facebook and the big tech agents that oh this could be russian disinformation they very likely swayed the election they interfered in the election by doing that you mean um, kind of like when yep. Comey, our own intelligence, came out and made that scathing remark about Hillary Clinton and their email thing? Well, also, that was just Hillary's own doing, though. To be well, okay, to be clear on the Twitter files, <laughs> that's funny. Um, to be clear on the Twitter files, there was no direct communication from um, anybody in government there or was. the FBI telling Twitter there was. to censor the Hunter Biden story. That's not there true. There was. They that's direct, not, yes. They actually. No, I literally yeah. talked to the guys that like did these fucking stories and they admitted as much. No, there was not. There was never any direct. Did you, did you see the hearings yesterday wait, when wait, Jim Jordan guys dropped did you talk the examples? To who did the stories? Did um fuck i don't remember what the two who, somebody in the chat will have the two names but some two of the journalists i think they were involved in these twitter files there was never a direct communication so with about hunter biden to twitter that never happened well they yeah they say rush this there's stories that are russian disinformation uh, the the request that came from the fbi was this person needs to be banned uh please get rid of this person they uh, the the dashboard that they were using the to FBI sort of never said you need to ban somebody never they, not that didn't they requested either. yeah they request hold on i can get it for you i can get it for they you they said second. that these are accounts that might ban your tos they gave them like two hundred thousand accounts for this and twitter banned like none of them so right no, well that and, and i want to yeah that is something interesting because you know they were they were basing this on hamilton 68 which is uh, again democrats and former intelligence operatives there was a uh what's his face from the weekly standard on there as well what kind uh, of accounts were they asking them to ban they were just uh, companies and just regular people, but they were saying that these were Russian bots and troll farms. But it turned out none Russian of these bots? people were. You don't know huh? that? You don't know no, that? No, we know that from the Twitter files because- No, we don't. The, no, well, Yoel Ross said himself that there was no evidence that any of these accounts had anything to do with Russia. Why Yoel are you Ross Yoel Roth now when Yoel Roth also said there was no direct communication about Hunter Biden? Do you just selectively listen to him? Because he also no, said that on three different occasions on his. Well, I think he's covering his ass. And oh did you God. see the hearings? Tell me, listen, dude. did Here's you did reality. you see the hearings where Jim Jordan was giving examples? Yep, I've seen. Yes, yeah. Have you heard the hearings where? Um, or hold on, not even the hearings. In regards to the Twitter files, when the FBI was asking things to be removed, those accounts they said were all newly created accounts that were following, I think, two or more. More like Chinese fucking ambassadors and politicians, and that's why the FDA asked for those to be removed. They weren't saying like, "Please silence these free American speaking people," and blah 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 blah. That was not happening from the FBI. And the two people I talked to were Leighton Woodhouse and David Zweig. Those are the two people. They, I didn't see their bylines on the Twitter files. Let me say this okay. real quick. Uh, I just want to say real Wait, quick. David Zweig literally was the one that did um, series six, I believe. And Leighton Woodhouse, I don't know if he was involved directly with them, but he's friends with all the journalists. Was he not? 
I could I could be wrong. I'll, I'll open to. ED. I just want to say this real quick. I just want to let people know there's still room for callers. So if you follow that link that the people are putting in the chat, the mods are putting, you could go to the Discord. And there you could get vetted to call in, and you could ask any of our panelists any questions here at the 10 p.m. hour. Also, we will be reading super chats. So still room for that to go ahead and put super chats in, and we'll read them. Sorry, not trying to follow up the drone time. Um, but yeah, hold on. So, I was no, 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 I, I wasn't done with Dylan though. Just real yeah. quick. Okay. You can also find the Discord link in the video description of, of this video. Yep. Um, so if you want to get in that way, you can if you don't see it in the live okay. chat. But so what I was going to say, Dylan, is that most of the media is running cover uh, for the government. Well, you know, like the Nord okay. Stream 2 pipeline story is another good example. Well, we wait, how is it really a good example when the mainstream media... Pipeline. Wait, 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 wait. The mainstream media is literally reporting that seems like our intelligence is saying it was a pro-ukrainian group that might have been the one <laughs> right exactly running cover for the heat uh, for the seymour Hersh story saying that uh we did it the u.s did it and and on top of that we have multiple videos we have biden saying you know if russia does this there won't be a pipeline anymore we have uh i forget who it is uh somebody else in the administration talking about oh wouldn't it be great if we could get rid of russia and sell uh, make a pipeline Drone straight tech. to europe the seymour the seymour yeah. her story as far as aware it was like a mine detector a mine detecting type ship that would laid the uh the bombs that they did the operation off of there was none at the nato drills that he talked about in the seymour her story there's multiple holes in the seymour her story that makes me not just take it at face value and makes me have a lot of questions and so i don't Ooh, think the media I know, should but take it at face pro value. ukrainian definitely, group? definitely wait wait and by, by the way by the way seymour hersh's source that the whole story is built upon is unconfirmed we have no clue what it is he says oh well it's a source i can't tell you but i can't tell you and like but I, biden's own words you can't make okay oh, wait, not to not to call you biden himself biden said that words. this is what we would do biden, biden did not say we would blow up the pipeline he said there would be no more pipeline i, th I yeah, believe there would be no pipeline but we can't make any conclusions off the evidence that is per and pro-ukrainian group so vague like i can't wait, 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 wait by the way pro-ukrainian group let me be clear the conversations i'm in austria right now i just came out of germany i was having conversations with germans they are a lot of germans are fucking pissed at the idea that ukraine could have done this for and i can understand why some of them might be pissed that ukraine could have done this i don't understand how diverting the attention to ukraine which could possibly if they did do it could possibly stop weapons shipments from germany or other countries if it becomes a massive scandal turn public sentiment against ukraine i don't know how that benefits the united states that's actually well, what, Dylan, I, I where's the a terrible scenario where's the Dylan, story in the media some of those Who's talking about it did some of those people that you talked to, did they just not care or did they think it was no big deal? Some of them were like, I'm happy it's gone. Other ones were like, I think this is a massive issue. Yeah. So why did you omit that? Do you think? Why did I admit it? Because that wasn't important when I was talking about it. Right. What but it mean? was important. Right. So it's actually. It was, okay. So it was. There's a conflict here. Me. Right. So you like, omitted wait, wait. it for a reason that you were Andrew, trying to narrative. This build, is right? narrative. You're just trying to be snarky and I don't understand. So it's sorry, not. I don't understand. It's, it's, I don't this understand. is the whole point. Andrew. Andrew, I don't understand why me mentioning that there were Germans who were also happy the pipeline is gone is important uh -huh. for me to describe how it could be possibly bad for the Germans to have the scandal break. Because no matter how many Germans because are happy you're it's presenting gone, it's still, one side, you're not letting me finish. You're not letting me finish, Andrew. You do you it to ask everybody. me a question. You do it to everybody. You're not letting me finish. I don't ask me so a question, question and then not give me time to respond. You're right. I should no never sense. talk to you. You're correct. So Dylan, yeah. finish. If, it's because you're afraid, Dylan. If it's because you're not, afraid. You know it. I'm terror. I'm absolutely terrified. All right, then debate him one on one. It, it not right now, but another time. Will you, Dylan? Will well, you? It, it depends on the topic. Yeah, if it's interesting. Yeah. Okay. But, we'll we'll organize it. Cool. All right. Whatever. Whatever. Anyway, let me okay. finish. Can I please? Okay. I don't understand how me mentioning that there's going to be Germans who are pissed off at the Ukrainians if the Ukrainians did blow up blowing up a pipeline that connects them to Russia. I don't know why it would be important for me to also mention that there's separate Germans who might be happy with it. No matter what, that is going to turn more of the sentiment against Ukraine than in favor of Ukraine. There is no way that story well, is whether, covered. That's going to make be, there would need to be an effort to do that. There would need to be an effort to make that happen, which there is none. Well, not to uh, pin you guys against also, each wait, other, but I, I think never, I never got earlier on. I never got to finish uh, with drone tech. I never got to finish with drone tech. Drone tech. Uh, I'm never. I'm not going to argue that there isn't examples of the media uh, behaving poorly or not being a great check on power. But there are examples of people being a check on power during the Trump administration. I don't think you're going to argue that the media did not criticize Trump enough. I think you're probably well, of course of they course. do a Republican but administration. Yes. When it comes to and then Biden, it changes. when it comes to Biden, the the coverage of his border stuff has been immense from right wing media, from even sometimes the centrist media, just hammering him on it, and that has 
has made him change and even reenact some of Trump's old policy, making him directly change his policies. That is the media, even though I might disagree with what he's doing now, that is the media in a way holding to him account, even if I disagree with how they're holding him to account. There's more are, they Biden? 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 are they attacking Biden? Are they attacking Biden for that? I don't, I'm not seeing that Dude, anywhere. Biden, Biden, what do you him. mean? Biden's constantly getting attacked on, for, on, on, on immigration. Absolutely. And he's got from Fox, got hammered yeah. On from Fox, yeah. He got hammered by everyone in Afghanistan. If you pull American people and how he handled the Afghanistan withdrawal, it was not pretty. I, I don't really want to pin you guys against each other, but like I, I feel like. Zen, no, can I get I an acknowledgement that there have been examples okay. of the media holding Biden to account? Mm -hmm. I, I just, I watch a lot of media, and I just don't see the same so, energy. Why, it's why just, we not the same energy. energy. Did we see the Afghanistan thing that literally resulted in Biden's lowest popularity polling ever? Absolutely. Yeah, but the media yes. kept the favorable coverage just kept going though. I mean, they kept what when when look. The the media just repeats whatever the administration says. If they say there's That's no not inflation, true. That's not we've true. redefined because inflation, they go along with it. That they did not go along with Biden's story. When he was getting interviewed about it, for example, when he when they brought to him, hey, Biden, there was Afghans falling off of the planes. And he was like, well, you know, it's, it kind of sucks. They hammered him on that. He's like, oh, my God, he's so callous. He doesn't care. He's abandoning your Afghan allies. This is absolutely horrible. Maybe they, on Fox. They hammered I, him on that. Not no, on Fox. Also, every Steve outlet. Who, that video of people like I clinging onto the plane for dear life every, and shit. Like that, they, there's they, no way that makes played that on right? loop. They played that on loop on every major outlet. Yep. It, it, it resulted in his lowest polling data. Like that's what he said. Yep. All right. Um, so here's. So I feel here, like. Sorry. Let me just say that the networks have been skipping. The networks have not been, as far as Afghanistan goes, they have not been reporting on these hearings going on. It's been pretty much a big zilch on that reporting. So because the whole Twitter okay. files many things. Lonerbach wants to pit us against each other. Please go. You've been trying. Okay, to no, I, I, said I, I said I don't want to pin you guys against. Each other. I, oh, I okay. feel like Zen. I feel like a good point earlier about how uh, one of the problems with media is that they are incentivized financially to get in on a breaking story very quickly, but that might lead them to be conclusive in a way that they shouldn't be because they don't have all the information. But then it seems like drone tech, like you're with the pipeline, you're like you're, you seem to be like a bit bothered that they've been kind of like broad with the Ukrainian uh, pro Ukrainian group, even though like we don't have the information yet. We don't know. who. Did well, it. no, I just I'm just saying, like, it's just funny that that came out that that story popped out like a few days after the uh, Seymour Hirsch stuff. And it's just like, oh, no, a pro Ukrainian group did it. And it's just like, what? It, it just bad. seems. Both like, are bad. By the way, there right, is an but, alternative. Wait, wait, wait. There is an alternative narrative that I have heard, and this is like the most pro-Ukraine narrative you can have. That certain Russian oligarchs blew up the pipeline because it served their specific financial interest, and when they undermine their war effort because they're not able to import the goods that they used to under all the sanctions, and they want the war to end as soon as possible. That is one of the most pro-Ukraine narratives that can be pushed. The government didn't do that. Didn't even entertain that well, idea. I think if I think if all this happened under Trump and you had a video of Trump saying, oh, if Russia does this, we're, the, the pipelines won't be there, that clip would be repeated on news constantly. And you never see that clip. You never see the clip of uh, I can't remember who it is. I'll have to... I've seen it. So I I'm mean, sure you have. But like CNN, MSNBC, ABC, CBS, NBC, PBS, NPR, they're not like constantly reminding people. It's just like the left wing political violence. Versus what, what do you right mean? Constantly just like, just white like every people being wait, shot by cops what, what, versus what black people. Standard? Do you need to like hear it every single time they talk about the story? Because it's no, I want the same standard applied. Like like when a white guy gets when an unarmed white guy gets shot by the police, I want to see media outrage about it instead of like nothing. And then when a black guy gets shot, total outrage that leads to riots. And then it turns out the shooting was totally justified. Look, it's I, like I don't I don't want speculation. Wait, wait well, let me finish with uh, this quick. I don't want speculation on the Nord Stream story. There's been so much speculation on i fucking hate it and that 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 clip right there is only going to contribute to more speculation because we're not working with hard facts and everybody's throwing out different theories with basically no evidence and seymour hirsch's own story that you're talking about has multiple holes in it and his source is is private we don't even know what his source is it's not a big surprise that they aren't covering it like crazy also, okay, okay. No, this okay the consistency the ben Chambers shit got a lot of I, have, in the media yeah. I gotta end it here in this sense right we're gonna do an hour of call-ins if you want to call in that discord links in the description of the video also it's been in the chat you want to take this in a different direction but yeah there, there, we can there come was, back to this after if we need. yeah there was two yeah. things I've, I've been holding in for a bit so the first thing i wanted to ask well it's actually both directed towards Trotec. the first thing is about the christopher columbus statue thing i looked it up like immediately we talked about it. i haven't been able to comment mm -hmm. on it yet so mm -hmm. i looked it up and i'm looking right here and I see, I see USA Today, CBS News, Fox sure. News. I'm seeing, sure. seeing videos. Sure, you, you like found some internet stories. Views. Well, no, you're talking internet stories. It, so not, 17 cops got injured here. What is the level 49, of 49, 49, well, 49. I'm looking, I'm looking at the initial reports that 17 cops got injured here. But okay, the, wait, let's say it's 49. What is the amount of coverage that would be? So it's not just that it needs articles on the mainstream news outlets and it needs new segments and it needs, you know, hundreds of thousands. There is of not a views. single. What more does it need? 
Dylan, you cannot find me a single example of left wing political violence that the media constantly like that. They there's that's an not anniversary what I asked of it. You. That's not what I no, asked what about you. The I'm BLM asking you. Wait, 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 no, no, there's no memorialized. I waited, I waited for 40 Please minutes. Dylan you you okay. said that you were going to give a specific example of something like this happening where, you know, the media kind of just ignores it and the stuff like they admitted the facts. But there's CBS News, US Today, Fox News. It has over, like hundreds of thousands, like 900,000 views. It's like the first YouTube video I found from I think it was WAN. Sure. It. So. Sure. This, is, this got a lot of attention, and I'm sure if I dug longer, I could find more sources. No, and so my question to you, I'm going to say 49 cops injured. What is the amount of coverage that it needs to hit for it now to be fair? Because it could just be that this Christopher Columbus statue just didn't meet the level of, for example, January 6th, which, giant... which I would agree with. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would just say if a giant group of right wingers attacked police in that manner, attacking a monument or some a BLM monument like that, you would know about it. It would be wall to wall coverage. They would they would say, look, this is example of the right wing rising up and, and uh, attacking police and their anti police sentiment. Instead, it's just kind of left to go down the memory hole, just like so what every example. So what you're saying Th that is was the never a major news would, story. What you're saying is the amount of coverage that would be necessary for this to be fair coverage is if every if the majority of Americans knew about this specific riot. I'm saying that if I'm saying that left wing political violence does not get the same coverage or the same standards apply to it as right wing political violence. Okay, they, but you it's said, so you rare. Said right wing no, political violence no is so rare. Yet mainstream. you know you about no every main, example, don't you? You said no mainstream outlet covered the story. I can find three first Google. Well, I don't know if I said that. I said it wasn't. I said it wasn't. You can yeah, you can find some internet things about it, but it was never a national narrative. There was never like. Uh, why does it have to be it's it's one riot? Why does it have to be a national Whether narrative? Why, why is this specific statute because so important? Because ever a national narrative why does it need more attention for example like january 6th why does it need to be on that level since it's a statue and not for example the process okay of democracy? how about the white house and in, in, in 2020 when the the uh blm mob attacked the white house I injured about that i think 124 Rob, secret sure service I know about agents. It every single time i talk to him <laughs> right but that's not like that's something that that was the media the media mocked that they for one they lied about it they said that trump sent out the uh, national guard for a photo op that turned out not to be true that's so that's a lie they told they also uh that, that they mocked trump for having to go to the bunker there's all these wait, stories wait, wait. when that happened we're calling him coverage. bunker boy you're talking, about you're talking about omitting facts here and we're talking about the amount of coverage that story you're talking about i know about that riot i know about what happened there that's well it was never called a riot in the about. media can you show me a single example of a media a uh, mainstream media calling it a riot I, if I, if I, if I no try to look, you can't I, I can tell you right now that it does not exist I just, I, wanted to... I just i just i just wanted an acknowledgement that the story was covered by mainstream news outlets and it was given well Dylan, it's not the same you, it's not the same i'm sorry